Hello guys, Mama here. Um, yeah, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at the wall hack effect used in some videos. Um, I've prepared mine, and I'm just gonna show you what effect I'm talking about. So it is about this effect. It's right here. You can see the guy falling through the wall, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So first of all, you're going to record a clip. So I've recorded my clip. And you should just record it at normal. Just just normal, like the first person shot. But we need to record it twice. So just record it normal, like I did, as you can see right here. And then record it another time, using this uh, command. R underscore draw other models 2. Just record it, uh, as you can see right here, the gun is like 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 uh, I don't know how to say it like drawn yeah and um, but yeah you just just record it because you can see everything through the wall and we're gonna make it in After Effects the right way we want it so record it once not I mean twice and the second time record it with this blue stuff on it just type air underscore draw other models two and I'm gonna change it back to one so in After Effects I'm gonna create a new project right there and no so first of all we're going to import the two uh, image sequences I created so it's like first person yep right delete it and all right I'm just going to import them like sequences first one and the second one right there so the first thing we need to do is drag them both in and there we go and as you can see the blue one is on top with yeah like the blue stuff so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, sync the uh, sync the two videos. So press T to lower the opacity, just change change to 50. And as you can see, we are zoomed in right now. So I'm just going to for the kill part. Let's see with the blue. So like right there. Let's see. I'm just, I'm scrolling by the way with, by holding Control and then uh, pressing the arrow keys left or right. So it's like right there yeah so now we're gonna sync it so I'm just going to let's see yeah it's almost perfect let's see it one more time mm -hmm. just perfectly on the shot let's see damn so yes, now it is perfectly aligned. So the shot, and as you can see, the guns are both different, but the guy is like following the same step, and the movements are also the same. So yeah, don't worry about it. Like as you can see, the gun is like in front of the other, like really right. Let me see right here. You can see the the blue one is actually. Oh wait, it isn't it isn't synced at all. Let me check this. So Alright, so we're gonna take the first yeah, syncing, you know, I really suck at it, so <laughs> let me see. Alright, so you got one zoomed and one shot. So there is the shot and yeah, right there's the other one. So they're both syn synced right now. So change back to 100, and as you can see, we got almost the same. Uh, yeah, the same going on. So what we're going to do is like uh, cut this guy out. And how we're going to do it? We're going to select the, the 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 first layer, which should be your blue one. And we're going to click on the pen tool, and we're going to draw a mask around this guy. Just do it like I don't know, like like this. So right there. So and I get a mask, and as you can see, it is like a little bit. You can see some color friends. You can actually make out the rectangle I created. So we're gonna feather it. Just click on the first layer and have and hit F. Now you can see the mask feather has popped up and changed to about five pixels. So that's all right. Maybe maybe ten. Yeah, that should be all right. So yeah, this is done, and uh, now you can see the guy. So one frame before this one is the where it actually shoots the gun. So this one. So we're going to the next one and just 
remove the whole clip. I'm doing this by uh, just grabbing it and holding shift so it will snap to the, the red red line time thing. And as you can see it is not perfectly aligned. Let me do this the right way. There we go. So now as we can see we got a shot right there. So it's looking pretty good. So now we're going to animate the mask to go with the person because the guy's looking away. So you're just gonna hit the the smooth one. Gonna select it, and we're gonna drop down the mask menu and uh, enable the time, the clock thing by mask path. I'm just gonna drag it forward and let the you know like the yellow thing follow it. So I'm just gonna be like that, a few few frames forward, mm, like that, even more right there, like that few more. I'm just scrolling by holding control and then moving left or right. So and this this is right. So as you can see right now the the you know like this wooden thing is coming in the way. And well it's not gonna it's not gonna matter because we I'm going to fade this guy out. So I'm just going to right here and I'm just gonna press T for opacity. Hit the keys uh, hit the stopwatch, uh, drag it about a few frames forward, like there, and drag it all the way to zero. So I'm just gonna pre-render this. So I'm gonna drag it right here, right there, at half I think, right there, pre-render it. It's gonna take a while. So there we go, and he's zoomed, and he should BAM, there we see. So as you can see right now we got a pretty good Let's see. Bam! It's coming. So we got a pretty good, you know, like a wall hack uh, made in this movie. And uh, yeah, in this little clip, I've just like color corrected it and made a song underneath it and like made an exposure effect on it when it shoots. But uh, I hope you get the point. And I also hope you like this tutorial. Uh, it's not very fast, it's taking up seven minutes, I see. But uh, I hope you learned something. Have a nice day!